A new legislative session is set to start on February 1st. The KMT reportedly plans to invite Lai Qingde, Taiwan's newly elected president, to the legislative yuan. Opposition lawmakers want to request a state of the nation report from Lai. They also want a chance to ask him questions to subject Lai to public scrutiny. During his presidential campaign, Lai had promised to report to the legislature if invited. In the January 13th election, the DPP won the presidency but lost its majority in the legislative yuan. Reports say the KMT caucus has decided to ask the new president to give a state of the nation address before lawmakers. If the legislative yuan asks me to go, I will go. Before the election, Lai Qingde has said he'd be willing to give a state of the nation address, but the KMT also proposes that Lai take questions on the spot to face a public examination. Since Taiwan's first direct presidential election in 1996, no president has delivered a state of the nation address at the legislature. Should Lai give a report, he'd be the first president to do so in Taiwan's constitutional history. Before the election, all three candidates agreed to report to the legislative yuan. So far, there has been no caucus discussions on the format of such a report. During his time in office, Chen Shui-bian was willing to report to the legislature, but it never happened. If the president were to come, what kind of protocol should be followed? After all, the president represents the country, so any uncivil behavior would make international news. The DPP and KMT have yet to agree on the details of the presidential summons. The Constitution states that parliament may hear a report on the state of the nation by the president, but it does not explicitly require a president to deliver such a report. It also does not stipulate a question and answer session like that for other officials. Given the gray area, much negotiation remains ahead.